you know what's really fun? Getting ready to record something and then dealing with technical issues that prevent you from doing so for an entire hour. Oh, did I say fun? I meant infuriating. This is becoming a regular thing and it's kind of annoying, but anyway. So, I'm going to assume I wasted too much time. Which, I mean, clearly I did because I sent Kaiba to freaking like all the way out west to no man's land. You know, like, oh, you said east? I thought you meant west. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Mighty Number no. 9. Last time I had my soul destroyed by an uh, aviator, which caused me to really view what was otherwise a actually pretty decent level in a rather bad light. Well, I say pretty decent. I mean, I had to deal with wind shenanigans. Granted, the wind shenanigans weren't all that bad, and... Yeah, I think I only had like one real death during that level, so all things considered, it went pretty well for me. But that fight though, oh no, 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 no! That fight can burn. So anyway, uh today we're going after Brandish Mighty Number 7. Oh, explain please. We have reports of automated vehicle malfunctions on the highway. Mighty number seven, Brandish spotted. Okay. Well, looks like I have his weakness, so who's gonna be helping me out here? Yeah, it's oh. Nick. I got eyes on Brand. But getting through these nutso cars ain't easy. Okay. This could turn into a 50 car pile up any minute. Hate to ask, but I could use some help. Alright, well, yeah. Most definitely. Anything that can make my life easier, I don't even care at this point anymore. Like, I should feel bad about, like, having to be so heavily reliant on E-Tanks, aka, like, several covers, but at the same time, the game gives me, gives them to me, so I'm gonna freaking use them. I don't even care anymore. I mean, it's not like I'm abusing glitches or anything. Or let me guess, one false move and I'm dead. About mighty number seven's voice. Could he be? Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, this is our new power. Go. What? Well, I can sort of charge it, but when did he ever use an attack like that? Okay, whatever. I don't. <laughs> I don't understand. So let me guess, falling on the highway means I'm dead. Probably, so hey, don't fall. Alright, let's go. I really hope this level doesn't suck. I mean, this frame rate does, but hey, it is what it is. So I'm almost at the point where I think, like, Aviator and Brand were sort of, like, early in development where they gave a damn about this game. Because it does look like these had, like, the most effort put into them. I could be wrong, though. I mean, well, I say effort, but I mean, you know, the frame rate is still, like, garbage, but... Yeah, it looks like they actually cared at this point in time. Well, yeah, so far, this stage isn't too bad. Now watch me get wrecked. Hmm. We can shoot through there see what's being hidden absolutely nothing okay well I can shoot you from up here okay I can shoot you from up here the one level you would expect to have wind and it doesn't why am I saying that like that's a bad thing no like whatever can make my life easier go ahead and do it game Oh, this is a good old-fashioned checkpoint, then. Wow. Here we go. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna go past you, my dog. I knew it! Well, that was one little recover wasted, because... 
I didn't really need to use it. Oh well, this stage doesn't seem too bad. But then knowing them, there's going to be a hell section in the middle. And then another one close to the end. And I'm going to take back the nice things I was saying about it. Here we go. Wait up, Sonic! Not fair! I can't run as fast as you! Ah, look! Eggman's robot's on the loose! Don't panic! I'll handle that bag of bulls! Ah! Now what's wrong? Alright. Dropping you on the island so you can stretch your new legs. Report back to me at camp then. We can take the fight up, uh, fight back to Claw. No, you stupid! Okay. See, I'm, and I'm also trying to think back to Mega Man, like the OG ones. And I'm trying to remember if like every, literally every single stage had extended sections where anything could kill you in one hit or well just one false move and you're freaking done I mean I know like each stage sort of had like you know like a little death gimmick going on but come on like this is almost like I say it's almost like literally every single stage is out to kill me Are you freaking serious? Are... Okay, we'll just... Stay calm, stay cool, stay collected. is futile. Give me the bird. I said no! Why not? None of your business why not! I want to know why you want it! Data unavailable. You don't even know? I bet you'd be mean to him, you bully! Why try to save that which is useless to you? Does not compute. I feel sorry for you. Old man failed to give you feelings. Wait a minute, Birdie! Dangerous here. Hurry, we'll be arriving at the Mystic Ruins base soon. So, you're not like those other robots, huh? You truly are a good person inside, aren't you? I guess we can be friends then. Take care, okay? That has to stand for something, but what? Wasn't that other guy's name? Oh, Scott Irvine Corporation. That is that is so lame. I say as a fan of a guy whose corporation is called Kaiba Corporation, but all right. 
Your three three shacks of the Sig Vox Empire. After 300 years of ruling the Rondeval continent, the Sig Vox Empire is faced with a crisis. Since the 12th Emperor, He Sheen, ascended to the throne, corruption and brutality have spread through the Empire. The people have. Oh, no. The people feel suppressed, but their complaints have fallen on deaf ears. He Sheen and a select group of his underlings have been living in the lap of luxury. Their lavish lifestyle, supported by heavy taxation, has pushed most of the populace to the brink. People on the fringes of the Empire have responded with rebellion and revolt. And at the capital city of Sigvas, trouble. Kingdom Simulator overload. Safety like engaged, beginning transition to mode 2. Transition to mode 2 complete. Kingdom Simulator lock in mode activated. What the? Ugh. Buh. Kaiba. Wrong, Kaiba? Kaiba, what's wrong? Please look at me. Oh. My head. What's wrong? You just collapsed all of a sudden. Where... Where am I? We are your... Oh my god. Yeah, okay, I'll give him the wacky voice. Where are your manners, Kaiba? You stand before the Emperor. This is the capital city of Sigvoss, and we are in the Imperial Palace. Oh, mm, yes, we were in the middle of a meeting with His Highness before you passed out. Don't you remember? No, I don't. I don't remember anything. Pull yourself together, man. I expect more from the head of my Imperial Guard and my best warrior. I feel this is a different voice I gave you from Yugi's campaign, but whatever. You are now. What is that man's name? It is on the tip of my tongue. Sean Connery, yes, okay. Let's go over the plan again for Kaiba's sake. Listen well, if you know what's good for you. We've gotten reports of a fairly large revolt taking place on the Maya Den Plains in the north. There are several marshals assisting the resistance army there. We must capture them. None of my other generals seem up to the task, so Kaiba, I want you to hunt them down. Take the Imperial Guard and strike the fear of the Empire into them. Dumb. Vom. Well, don't you have something to say? I believe Lord Kaiba is still not quite himself. Perhaps he is suffering fatigue from his strenuous activities. Your Highness, Lord Kaiba's present condition makes me a little anxious about leaving this entirely in his hands. With your permission, I would like to... I would like accompany him and offer my support. <laughs> Screw grammar. I understand. Permission granted. I trust you do not have a problem with this, Kaiba? Uh, sure. You're right. Kaiba is acting strangely. Do not let me down, Marthus. Yes, sir. Seto! Mokuba, you're here too? Yes, it looks like I'm a member of the Imperial Guard, and I report directly to you. This place is unbelievable for a virtual reality program. It sure is realistic. It's a bit too realistic. I don't get the feeling that we're in control of the game at all. I think it's safe to say that we've been trapped in this world. That was probably the plan all along. Hmph. <laughs> Just wait till I get my hands on that wretch Isano. While you were at your meeting, I did some research. That's not good enough, though. Well, I was like, when he said, oh yeah, this might affect visibility, I thought... Ah, crap. But yeah, I thought it was going to be dealing with darkness and stuff. But thankfully, darkness was not in fact spread. Oh, is he making this section easier for me? Cool. Seismic, I take back all the mean, nasty things I was saying about you behind your back! Okay, screw this stage. Screw it, screw it. Oh my god. Let me get my lob shot at the ready just in case because those uh yellow dudes pretty annoying cuz they take quite a few hits. Morning. See, they wanted to copy so much from Mega Man. Why couldn't they copy his charge shot? I would be like so much more comfortable if I had the ability to charge my shots. I actually deal more damage because there's really no point in like rapid firing because he... 
it's like he, there there's a max to how many of his bullets can be on the screen. So, I, oh my god, I don't want to keep dying on stupid crap, but it's happening. Oh, good lord, good lord, good lord. Oh my god. No, you stupid bastard. Oh my god. So, I just wait for them to get closer, even though it almost feels like everything's about to go off the screen at any moment? I... <laughs> okay, alright, alright, okay. I'm probably not even halfway done with this stage. That's the killing part. Okay, yeah, just wait for it to get closer. Okay. Here we go. Bring it on. Oh my god, this... No! Ah! God! Wow! Okay, so yeah, nice to know when you had a little speed module. He's like... Luigi, you know, just it takes him about eight freaking seconds to come to a complete stop. Oh my god, just wow, this game. I told you, stay away. I'm afraid. Oh my god. Th no! To no! Whatever, just just tank hits. Just tank hits. Cause the the more hits I'm tanking, the the less I, I don't even know any I can't form coherent sentences what is happening no jump off you stupid son of a bitch god. oh my god oh my god Oh wow, new territory is not like it's gonna matter. I only I'm on my last life. I am Oh wow, we're done with the auto scroll. I mean unless this is a boss, I, I don't give a damn like what you're giving me, game. This better if this is not the boss fight, I don't care. Freaking pleasure. Okay, pause because I'm absolutely stunned that Concept was able to exhibit like good game design here. I am absolutely stunned. The stage was utter bullshit and ridiculous with, you know, like just all that crap it's throwing at you, but it ended after that 
auto scroll section that drained me of every single life I have. So I'm stunned, amazed, bewildered that they actually ended the level right there. It's not extending on another 30 goddamn minutes like the other stages. They actually knew where to end this one. Not to mention the fact that we're actually getting a little character development with Brandish here. So what, was this the very first stage they developed? Then after that, we were like, okay, we hit our peak. Let's just throw whatever at the wall now. Oh, wait, we didn't really balance this level a little more. Like, ah, well, who cares? But uh, whatever, whatever. At least the stage knew when to end, unlike some of the other ones. The gimmick was kind of horse. Just... Oh. What, what, why, why am I trying to censor myself now? I was already just swearing up a freaking storm. But yeah, you know, the, 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 the gimmick of this stage was complete and utter horse shit, but at least they knew when to end it. So the stage length matches with the stage difficulty. And yeah, I mean, I'm going to get a great opportunity to go through it again because I know I'm not beating him on this life even with my recover here. But hey, you know what? Let's give it the old college try. But hey, I'm not optimistic at all. I know I'm about to do this stage again. So uh, here's hoping I can use what I learned my first time through to help me get through a second time. Let's give this a shot, even though it's futile. Come on, you freaking... Okay, well, yeah, okay, yeah. So it looks like you're able to block my hits. Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. Are you purple? Are you purple? No. Um, that's just you normally. Okay. Well then. Hmm. Are you actually balanced? I guess, maybe. Yeah, whatever. Do, do, do. Okay. He's essentially at half health. I'm about to die. I hate everything. Okay. No. No! Oh, I could have had him! Oh my god, I could have had him. I could have had him. I could have had him. Oh my god. Oh shit. I... And that that was all on me cuz I panic dashed into him thinking he was about to turn purple. Had I just stayed where I was and shot like two or three more times, I could have had him. That's all on me. He's not that hard of a fight, though. I was just, like, not giving it my all bef before I used that recover. And then I was sort of getting the hang of things. I panicked and, yeah. All right. Well, time to do this stage again. So, yeah. I am, I am defeated. I am utterly defeated. Just skip all that. Okay. Let's... Let's go. Oh wow, where were you when I needed you most? Oh wait, no, they gave me that before. Never mind. I mean, you know, had they given me a life though, that would have been, you know, ideal, but hey, you know, you you can't always get what you want. This game never gives you what you need. Wow, I actually have two recovers for once. It doesn't matter, though, because, you know, instant death lurks at literally every single freaking corner of this godforsaken stage, so, um... Yeah, like, it's, it's not going to matter. It is not going to matter. These are not going to make it to the boss. I'm telling you that right now. That's not pessimism, that's just straight facts.
I cannot freaking believe they made a liar out of me. But hey, fine, whatever. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to be in a good position to beat them this time. Um, yeah, you might think I'm a little happy, but I'm still just, like, emotionally spent after that god-awful nightmare that was that auto-scroll section my first time through. But hey, whatever, you know what, uh, second time's the charm, because then you know what BS the game is throwing your way. And it's actually a bit easier to deal with. So, yeah, here we go. Your pattern is actually not that bad. Okay, got you, and then you're going to do this. Stay calm. That. That, 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 ah, last one got me, whatever, okay. I got a lot of healing things left, and by a lot, I mean just one more, okay, I jump right into that, like an idiot, like a dumb person, like a dummy, like an idiot, like a moron, like a doom cop, doom cop, I, I know my German better than that, screw over, just gonna go ahead and use that last one, alright. I didn't have to use that last recover, but I just did it just because. Oh man. Beck, I I thank you. Mission player. I don't know how to feel about that stage. Oh wow it'd be. Cause I mean on one hand I do admit I did overreact a bit, but at the same time. Okay, all right, like A, I overreacted, B, they actually did exhibit good level design there in that a difficult stage with insta-death literally everywhere was made short. So I mean, that's understandable. The boss fight itself, I went into it a little upset. But for the most part, that was a largely, uh, like, not bad boss. It had actual, like, it had a character. Well, uh, okay. I mean, all the bosses really have characters. But it had a character that wasn't annoying. A character that actually progressed. You know, one that was actually trying to fight the little virus that's going on. And the fight itself, you know, was actually pretty cool. I was just, like, still in a bad mindset after that little last third of the level on the other hand it is not good when you have auto scrolling when like yeah auto scrolling and let's say about 80% of the standable ground can kill you and so you're just waiting on the cars on an auto scroll stage to when they can erratically like move forward or move back or whatever and yeah your first time through you're not gonna really be prepared for that and it did take me longer than it probably should have for me to wrap my head around it but i i, I don't know i don't know it probably also didn't help that i am recording this right after uh aviators stage and that boss fight took a lot out of me too because of how long it took to get him down to the like <laughs> like there there was really only like one real point of the aviator fight where he could take damage and you had to wait for him to cycle through his attacks to deal damage during that phase and yeah like when he was doing the little like oh yeah okay I'm gonna spray my Uzi as I'm jumping to the top of the screen. Now I'm going to spray my Uzi as I'm jumping to the bottom of the screen. Yeah, you can hit him during that, but more often than not, you're going to miss. Or, more often than not, you're going to try and jump to the ledge to avoid getting hit, and you're then you're not dealing damage to him. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, I probably shouldn't have recorded this one directly after Aviator. So, yeah, um, I'll just give this stage and boss a thumbs up. A wary thumbs up because I probably wasn't in the right mindset to go into this and for the most part this actually did seem like a decent level but I still call shenanigans on the whole like 80% <laughs> of the floor can kill you thing whatever whatever it, it could have been a lot worse it, it could have been longer it could have just been horrible so, yeah. What in the blue blazes? Wilk, 
You mean this whole robot rampage? It is all my fault. Indeed. Or, more specifically, the fault of a robot I developed long ago. The CDM-1201. Trinity. I designed her to what? by assimilating other robots' capabilities. I found her custom scripts in the code we recovered from each of the Haywire Mighty Numbers. The structure is clever, concise, it's brilliant. There's no doubt it's my Oh, favorite. shut up, Mary Sue! But, Will, how is that possible? Cherry Dynamics shut down the Trinity Project ages ago. In fact, it was Dr. Blackwell himself who stopped it, wasn't it? Back when he was Cherry Dyne CTO. I always thought that project was the reason you left Cherry to come work with us and make Beck here. Blackwell only saw the dangers. He never understood their potential. Mm. Professor? Sir? Are you okay? Oh. Hmm? Oh, yes, Beck. Fine, more or less. Thank you. Zonda, I need some time to think. Can you handle Beck and the remaining mighty numbers? Uh, um, sh sure, sure. Dr. Blackwell is beginning to sound like the only sane person in this entire thing. And Dr. White up here is like, oh, I mean, he shut it down, but he only saw the dangers of it. He didn't see the potential. Like, okay, but who gives a damn? Like, that's... Whatever, whatever. So, um, yeah, I mean, again, like now we're seeing firsthand that, like, huh, maybe Doctor was right, or Doctor Blackwell was right, and also Trinity Project. Like, okay, the, his initial robot Trinity, whatever. Why was the T white, but then Renity was like highlighted, like that was important. Renity, unless that was a mistake on Comcept's part, which, I mean, I, I wouldn't be shocked at this point, you know, I mean, hey, why, why not just, I, I'm shocked I haven't seen typos yet, truth be told, <laughs> um, um, ooh, ooh, just, just calm down, self, just calm down, it'll, it'll be okay, it'll be okay, because next time we're going after the final one, we're going after my, well, I mean, aside from, you know, this, <laughs> ooh, that, but yeah, next time we're going after Mighty Number 8. Death by my hands. That will be his fate. And then when I'm done, hopefully it won't be too late for me to call up the GF and take her out on a date. Okay, well that's not true. I really don't have a mate. I'm still single. That's kind of my fate. But none of this has anything to do with the current debate. Countershade, you're done. You look second rate. But all right, next time all right. we're going to Washington D.C. It's up to us to I think that's Washington D.C. I mean, it says Capitol Building, so uh, yeah. All right. Well, this game was developed when Obama was in office, so it looks like we're saving Obama. Anyway, uh, see you all next time for some more Let's Play Mighty Number 9. Goodbye. Okay, everyone ready? Shadow, Rouge, on with the show! Oh, Sonic! I thought I'd never see you again! They are stronger than we thought. Hmm. Retreat. Good evening, my young Lord Kaiba. Oh my god! <laughs> that face! It's amazing! Oh man.
Oh man, he's so he's so good. Pegasus. Hey, don't take it so personally. Understand. I'm just saying, if you guys ate my food, you won't be able to control yourself. What, what does that mean? Well, well, let's just say your jaw wouldn't be the only thing that drops. No In fact, your panties would drop too, like the black thong Miss Pecco is wearing, for example. You creep, how did you know about that? <laughs> you don't just outright say that, you just... Okay, Pecco. He, he guessed correctly? However, if Teru Teru did not prepare this food, then the one who did is... Could it have been Monokuma? Is it safe to eat food cooked by something like that? That's why I'm tasting it for poison, to make sure it's safe for consumption. But you don't need to eat that much to check it for poison. Okay, thanks for waiting. I brought him. Hey, straighten up a little more. Shouldn't a man like you be embarrassed to walk like that? Stop, no pull, you're gonna rip my sleeves! <laughs> Even though you look all flashy, you're actually a big coward. Are you gonna be okay? People like you are usually the first victim, you know. I mean, Sayaka knows all about that, I'm just saying. I just wanna go home already! Uh-oh. What the? So that somehow happened. I, I tripped. Can you even call that tripping? Like, how is her sock coming off too? How do you trip like that? How in the world did you end up in such a compromising position after tripping? Well, it certainly makes me happy. I'm very happy right now. <laughs> All these people are just. <laughs> we should help her up. I know, right? Are you okay? But, Mikan, are you okay? <laughs> My head is throbbing a little, but I'm okay. Your head's definitely not okay. Hey. She's beyond being just a clumsy girl. That fall of hers was like a magic trick or something. Um... Anyway, everybody's here now, right? Then let's get going. Since I'm getting sleepy. Hmm. You're right, though I'm not quite ready to stop eating breakfast. I should begin my talk. So it's finally starting. That took way too long. Alright, well let's talk like seriously, Mikan, are are you are you okay? Are you okay? Mikan, are you okay? You said your head was throbbing. <laughs> I'm alright. It actually happens a lot. But, but thank you very much for worrying about me. Okay, I mean, she recovers from an embarrassing pose like that pretty freaking quick. All right. So yeah, random bit of fan service out the way. First, I have a question for you all.
Okay, all you have to do is say it up to the left, right, up and down. Hey, big guy, hey, little guy, can you tell me what's inside? Sorry, but I don't know. We are simply not trouble. We present you with a gift. Welcome to our... It's a critical. I'm going to be very salty. And welcome to the Salty Splatoon. How salty are you? How salty am I? How salty am I? A weak monster got a critical hit on my team. Yeah, so? And I was only upset for five days. Oh my god, that's really salty, sir. Right this way. That was... Horrible and I should feel bad, but I don't, so okay. I'll go ahead and use a red medicine on you because why not? Did you splice the tape together the way I told you? Come on, give me a break. I practically grew up in a recording studio. Emergency! And Sinval on the Lido deck. Hurry, let's go now. Oh. Awesome, we're in. The engine room is ours. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. 
<laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy. <laughs> You'd think he'd be more concerned about his buddy.